guys. So today, as you can see from the title, we are going to be doing a drugstore version of my everyday makeup. So this is what I tend to do on a day to day going to work. Sometimes I go full glam to work when I feel like it. But this is like my quick, I've kind of slept in, I don't have time to do full glam kind of thing. So I have already done my brows, as you can see, because I don't use any brow products that are drugstore. And that's really bad. I should, but I don't. So this is what I use. This is a Benefit Gimme Brow and the Benefit Goof Proof pencil. Also ignore my knuckles. I had a fake tan disaster and I can't get it off. So let's just... Moving into our first product, I want to kind of do this in real time for you guys, how long it actually takes me. But first, we've got a new product. So I just grab any kind of primer usually. I'm not like too fussy over primer. Um, but I got the e.l.f. booster drops. So these are the bronzy booster drops. So after using them for a few days, you should start to see a difference. So I'm just popping a couple of drops on the back of my hand. It's quite a gel-like oil. And then I'm just rubbing that into my face. It doesn't really have much of a scent. If anything, it's just quite fresh. But yeah, it's more like a gel. It's, I expected it to be more oily than it is. But yeah, it's quite tacky as well. So that should be good for putting makeup on top of. So this is like a sedum as well. So you can use this as a sedum or as a primer. So the next thing I would usually go on to is just to do my foundation. So the foundation I'm going to be using and my absolute favorite foundation right now, the number seven Hydro Luminous. I have this in the shade Calico and Deeply Beige. Calico is my pale shade. Deeply beige is my tan shade. So I'm going to mix these two together as my tan is fading off and I'm just going to use my damp beauty blender. And then I'm just patting this into my face. So I honestly think I will use this foundation for a very long time. Like I will repurchase this. A million times over it is just stunning and it is so luminous like it says hydro luminous the radiance you get off this is incredible I just I am so so obsessed with this the only thing about number seven is the color range isn't fabulous but I do really really like a lot of their newer products and their skincare is incredible so number seven is a boots own brand that's only place you can get it and they often have three for two or buy one get one half price or you get vouchers and boots for five pound off so it is really really good value um some of the products not so keen on but I really do enjoy this. I haven't tried the concealer that goes along with this yet but I'm hoping I will like that as well. So once that is patted in I'm gonna go on to my next favourite concealer. So I have this in my tan shade again and my pale shade um, my tan shade I use to just spot correct over any areas that I feel need more coverage as the other, the foundation is a medium coverage. So understandably, it's not gonna cover everything. So I'm just using this to do a wee bit of spot correcting. So when I list all these products down below, I will li list the links how to get to everything. 
and how much every product is if you wanted to pick any of it up. So I'm just dotting this underneath my eyes and again taking my beauty blender. I know my beauty blender looks super dirty but it is just super stained. I've washed this a million times. It's time to get a new one. So as you can see, that's just completely brightened up underneath my eyes. And again, it's quite heavy consistency, but once you blend it out, it just covers everything and it doesn't feel too much on the skin, which is exactly what I want, but still have that full coverage. And then I'm just taking any excess and popping it in the areas like my chin and my forehead. So before we go on to powder, I would just want to show you what that looks like. So as you can see, I am super, super glowy and I just think it looks so, so nice. My skin is looking a hell of a lot better now I've got makeup on it. So once we've done that stage, the next thing I like to do is to powder. So before everything creases underneath my eyes, I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me in 105 Natural Ivory and I am just dabbing this on my face. I don't like to over powder. If I'm going on a night out, yeah, like give me the powder. But for every day, like powder is just not something that I'm massively for. I do have oily skin, so that is quite weird. But I prefer to be a bit more dewy and have to touch myself up during the day. That's just personal preference. I keep getting hair stuck to my face. As I said, that's just personal preference. So I'm just taking a tiny bit of powder in each area. In my oily bits. And down my neck. So it's the only pressed powder I've really found from the drugstore that I actually really like and suits me really well. So this is a winner. Before we move on, the next thing I want to do is I'm just gonna take a random card from my purse. I will zoom you guys in. And we're just gonna, we're gonna take the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. This is in Phoenix. And I will show you what shade. We're only gonna be using one shade today. And this is what I like to do when I'm in a rush because it's still very effective, but I don't have time. <laughs> so I am taking this shade here in the palette and I'm just doing it on a flat brush and I'm getting the tip of the product into the tip of the brush into the product. I am putting the card so it's underneath my bottom lashes and facing towards my eyebrow and I'm just gonna wing this out slightly And you don't need to worry if you make a mess because we will clean it up. There we go. So to finish clean that up, I'm just ever so slightly buffing out the edges. So that's our little wing. The next thing I'm gonna do is take the NYX pencil in, I don't know if this has a name. I don't think it has, oh, Brown Perfection. 
and I'm just lining my waterline and my yeah, lining my waterline and my lash line. This happens to me quite a lot when I am doing this, so don't panic, just wipe it away. Cause it's not like you've done anything like crazy that you'll need to sort. So then I just like to take that brush again underneath and just kind of smoke out that brown. And you can also intensify this wing slightly, which is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take that card again. And that's it. Because you powdered, you should be able to just wipe away any fallout underneath. The mascara I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Lash Sense Lash Sensational, and I'm just going to apply this a good layer of this. I usually do two coats of this because it gives me the best effect. There we are, so that's one coat. And I'm gonna do my bottom lashes just now as well. So once that's dry, I will come back and do the second coat. But for now, I'm gonna go off camera, do this eye, and then we will do our face and lips. Guys, I'm back. I'm so sorry. I forgot to press record. I can't believe I did this. Right, so what we're gonna do for the second half, I am so, so sorry, I am such an idiot. I can't even believe that I did this. I'm gonna talk you through every single thing that I did. So, what I did next was I went in with my L'Oreal Back to Bronze and I just very roughly, I will just kind of do it to show you. I very roughly, went over my face and I didn't need to do anything much. I just wanted to warm up the face slightly. The next thing I used was Soap and Glory Glow All Out. It's like a blush topper and I just dabbed my brush in and just applied this to my cheeks just to give me a little bit of color and shine again. I got some life back to my face. Then I took my most favourite highlighting palette in the world, the Soap palette from Revolution, you will all know this, and I just applied it to the tops of my cheeks, my nose, my cupid's bow and my chin, Usually, like all the usual spots. The next thing I did was I used my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray and I love this stuff so good and it's not too matte so it keeps my makeup on but it's not matte matte you know what I mean then the only other thing I did off camera was my lips so I used the NYX suede not suede slide on glide on pencil in beyond nude and I just outlined my lips and slightly blended it in and you use my butter gloss, my NYX butter gloss in Madeline. So I just put that over the top. Again, I am so sorry that I didn't press record on the second part of this video. I would just start this video all over again if I had time, but I don't, I'm so sorry. Um. 
but obviously if you've got any other drugstore recommendations for me please let me know I can do loads more drugstore tutorials I'm more than happy to do that for you guys I love finding good drugstore steals so 100% happy to do that for you guys and if there's any other videos you want me to film please let me know and we will do that so thank you so much for watching this again I'm so sorry I am so sorry this was a disaster <laughs> and please like this video if you enjoyed it I don't blame you if you don't because I messed up and subscribe to my channel I promise you the next video will be better <laughs> thank you guys mm -hmm.